Hello and thanks for watching again. My latest item just showed up today in the mail, so stay tuned. I'll show you what it is, what it's for, and how to use it. Okay, the item that I picked up is it's a USB stick. Basically, it's a 70 centimeter data transmitter. And it works for many of the different digital modes like D-Star, DMR, Fusion. The company that sent it is extremely quick, thankfully. But as you can see, the post office again destroyed it. So what I grabbed was the stick and an antenna. And there you have it. Now I'll get everything set up and show you how to install this and get it going. I will be using it for Fusion with my FT1DR by Yesu. Okay, the first thing you have to do is installation procedure for the DV4 Mini. And right here you got the uh, website that you need to go to. I'll also put a link in the comments below. Step one. have to read through all this or just go ahead and do it. In your call sign. Country. State, what are you going to be using? DMR, loaner. Alrighty, and I'm waiting for that. This is note. Please check the database with your ID before contacting the ID team if you do not want to receive an email within 48 hours. If you get blocked by email, so you're going to want to check your spam. Okay, now let's see if we've got our uh, DMR ID number. As you can see, it's uh, saying that we're pending. So we'll go in. Check the user database. You need to use your call sign, a DMR ID, your surname, city, state, province, or country. And there we are, we've got our DMR ID. Okay, now that we've got our DMR number, go ahead and set up the DV4 Mini software. You'll need a few uh, pieces of information for this, but they're pretty simple. First, you need your new DMR code. Pick one of the letters, A, B, C, or D. I've been told that D is the one I want for my location. Enter your city. and your QTH locator. I'm going to be using this with Fusion, so I'll go to C4FM. I'm going to want reflector 1. Usually there's a reflector 2, but it's down at the moment, and 70. And I'm going to use Four four six point five forty. Okay, now that I've got all my information entered in, I'm going to go ahead and connect the dongle, the DV4 Mini. 
and hit connect. Okay, now it's connected. I'm going to be using this FT1. I've already got a uh, frequency programmed in for it. And we're getting uh, that's repeater owner John coming through. Let's see if we can't make contact. That's Hassan, N1CY. See why are you out there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Yeah, you sound good, man. You sound good. You're coming through loud and clear. Outstanding. I just got the DV4 Mini all hooked up and ready to go. I appreciate it. Uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to use your call sign on this YouTube video I've been doing. Uh, no. Oh, absolutely, man. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah, go ahead. And by the way, you can also hear yourself if you go to the SoCalHam.com website. You can hear you. You can hear the streaming audio of yourself. So it's really cool. So yeah, man. I can't wait to watch the video. I hope to have it up tonight, or this afternoon, I should say. I greatly appreciate the uh, comeback and let me know that I was getting through. And I'm going to go get this uh, video thrown in the can. You all have a good one. Casey. Okay, very good, uh, Craig. Good, good hitting you, man. Um, yeah, can't wait for that video, dude. Awesome. You take care. Have a great uh, afternoon. N1CY. You too. Have a good one. All right, now we've got it working. Everything works well. So this goes to show you how easy this is to set up, how quickly it can be done. My one recommendation, though, is if you're going to order one of these, as soon as you order it, put in for your DMR, because it took a couple days for me to get my DMR number. This way, when it arrives, you've already got it. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to leave them in the section below and check out some of these other great videos I've made on different antennas and different radios. Thanks for watching.